Hey, we're out here in Colorado today and we're testing the Garmin InReach Messenger Plus. And specifically, I wanna know three things. How fast will the Messenger Plus receive messages, voice messages, and photos? Well, let's check it out now. And I'm gonna do all of this from my phone. It's easier, more convenient to type messages out. And also when you do the voice message and the photos, you need to do it from your phone by using the Messenger app. One thing I want to just tell you before we start this test is we are outside of cell service. I'll have screenshots that shows that I do not have cell service. So all of this testing is going to be done through the satellite system. We're going to go into the messenger app first of all. And the first thing is a standard message. So let's go over there. I'm going to send it to my son. So what I've typed out here, and I'm going to do this with all of these tests is I said message test at 1221 PM. Now we're gonna sit here and wait and see how long it takes for him to message me back. I told him to put the time down. That beep right there was the message going up to the satellites. Now let's see when I get this message back and I told him to include the time he receives it and sends it back because it'll all be within probably 30 seconds because you know how younger kids are, they're a lot faster than we are. Okay, that actually took a little bit of time. He said he received the message at 1222 which was just about a minute later than when I sent it, but I didn't get the message back till 1232. That's a total of about 10 minutes and nine minutes of it was coming back to me. Now let's test out and see what happens when I send a voice message. Now I just did a second message with my daughter. Now I'm gonna go and do this test with both of them with the voice message and also with the photo because my son may have been slow getting it. It may have been a technology issue, I don't know. But two tests are better than one. So now let's do this voice message. Test voice message sent at 12.35. All right, I sent one to my son. Now let's send one to my daughter. Second test voice message sent at 12.36. All right, we'll see what happens. And when I get home, I'm going to talk to both of my kids and see if one of them just sat around going, hey, I wonder if it'd be funny to let my dad sit out there and sweat for a little bit. It's sunny today, but it's only about 60 degrees. So I'm not sweating, so the joke's on them. Okay, my son received it at 12.37 and I sent it at 12.35, so it's two minutes for the message to get there and then get back to me. It was actually a little closer to 12.38. I saw it at 12.37, but by the time I typed in the message, it was 12.38. All right, I haven't heard back from my daughter yet, but let's go ahead and send a photo to my son. Okay, my daughter received it at 12.38. She can't listen to the voice message, but that's when she received it. Now she said 12.38, but it says 12.39 on my phone. So give or take a minute. Now let's get back to the photo test to my son. Just to let you know, you can choose from a photo to send or you can take a photo from your camera. I'm gonna take a photo from my camera and I'm gonna do a selfie, I know. Selfies are so overrated, but let's just do this right now. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe selfies aren't overrated. Maybe they're a great thing. All right, I sent that photo message at 12.42. Now let's send one to my daughter. All right, I may not take the best photos, but who cares, sorry. All right, that photo message test was sent to my daughter at 12.43. Let's see who responds faster. Son or daughter? Who do you think it's going to be? Oh, it's my son. My son wins that battle. All right, I received that photo message back from him, the confirmation at 1244. My daughter hasn't sent anything back yet, but she's in town doing some shopping, so she might be held up. I don't know. Maybe a cop finally pulled her over. All right, here's the results of the test. And generally what I'm finding out, it's taking roughly two minutes for me to send either the message, the voice message or the photo and get it back. It's about two minutes. Now, when I sent the first message to my son, it was nine or 10 minutes, but of course that's an outlier. We may have to throw that one out. However, it can take that long to send a message. When you're dealing with satellites, you never know. My guess is it generally would go through within five minutes, and that's been my experience so far testing these for the past five years. So I'm gonna put all the information up on the screen, what I sent to my son and received from my son, and that will be the standard message, the voice message, and the photo. Now I'm also gonna show you on screen what I sent to my daughter, and again, it's the message, the voice message, and the photo. 
I have not heard back from my daughter yet, so it's definitely going over five minutes, I believe, without looking at the time. Now, there's some outliers here as far as this test, and that one with my daughter, I can't take for granted right now that she's busy, or maybe it's the satellite system. I don't know, but on all the others, I'm seeing about one and a half, maybe to two and a half minutes. I would say two minutes is what you're typically going to see with the Garmin InReach Messenger Plus when sending a message, a voice message, or a photo. I know this isn't a scientific test and some of you might give me some grief, but I cannot spend my whole life out here doing a scientific test. I'm an engineer and I know what it's like to test things, so I'm doing my very best to give you information as like you would come out here and test something. So what would you see? As I said in the beginning of this video, I am outside of cell service. I've proven that to you. You can see from the screenshots it shows the SOS or the satellite image on the phone at the very top. But I hope this helps you to understand exactly what I'm seeing when I'm testing that Garmin InReach Messenger Plus. If you have any comments, questions, criticisms, anything, leave them below and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Thanks for joining me out here in Colorado. Now get out to the mountains and stay safe.